So when things start to get a little crazy, I, I always turn to my bow staff. A five minute workout with this will ground you and uh, also give you a pretty damn good workout. So uh, I always start with the spin arms way out in front like this and you can start super super slow like like this right here just passing it from hand to hand and then you start to speed it up and that's when your shoulders really start to burn and you try and maintain your focus stop it and go the other way and then this way is not as easy for me right there and so um, after that I always go above the head and that gets the lower back and the shoulders and you just do the standard spin above the head like that and the other way as well wow yes and then I always do switches like the whoop Because you gotta watch yourself too. You hit yourself with this thing and it hurts. I'll tell you that right now. I'm hitting the head too many times <laughs> with this thing. What else do I do? Oh yeah, strikes, man. They're awesome too. Because point it, like say, I'm pointing it right at the lens right now. That's where you want your staff to end up. Right there. Like that. And if you really bring your hips into it and your legs, And one of my favorite things to do with the staff is to stand like this with uh, headphones in and just meditate. You just hold on to this uh, staff the whole time and it's, it works, it seems to work for me. Um, but that's my little five minute bow staff workout. And I'll give you guys a little show right now. Right here, like that, around the hips, up top, around the hip, up top. Forward. Whoa! Almost hit myself. This is the hard one right here. I see right there. Got it nailed right there. And you feel it every time too. Not with these little light staffs that these uh, people who are twirling up in the air use. Uh, this is a heavy redwood staff right here. And this is what I would recommend for anybody else who's starting out. It will build your strength. It will teach you to respect the staff. It will uh, teach you balance. Uh, it will teach you a lot of different things. Now, um, this staff right here is very special to me because it actually belongs. I bought it for my brother for Christmas. And it's one of those things where I bought it for him and then ended up using it more than him. So <laughs> here it is in my hands right here. And I think this is going on the trip with me as well. Um, I don't think I can leave the bow staff behind. Starting to get nervous, yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, not having electricity, not having a hot shower, giving all that up for six months not having anything except for you to talk to and my dog to talk to um it's like 50 degrees in north carolina right now and uh i could camp in this weather no problem but when i get up in the mountains it's it's going to be a different story so anyway stay tuned uh, i think thursday or friday uh, i'm trying to decide thursday or friday i'm going to uh do a thorough walkthrough with you guys on my gear and my maps and everything like that um, and I'm sure there'll be tons of criticism about it because uh, I'm a crazy person I'm epileptic uh, <laughs> I'm uh, a lot of different things that doctors don't want me to go um, nobody really wants me to do this everybody wants to see me back out of it or they don't I don't know that could be a delusion of mine too <laughs> you never know these days I am going no matter what that's it for today uh, yeah like I said stay tuned for more cool
We'll see you later. Peace. Oh, hey, just on a side note, I don't, I'm not a bow staffer. I'm not a karate person or anything, so if my technique was incorrect, well, it's part of my meditation, so we'll see you later.